everyone. Thanks so much for tuning into Sims Workshop. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be unboxing my bookish box. I'm not sure which month this is. What did what was my last one? Was it was it September? No, no. Yes, it was September. So this should be October. So let me just grab my knife that I accidentally left over there, and let's open this bad boy up and see what's what. Now you all know that I. I've been having some issues with bookish bags lately, um, but whatever, it is what it is. It's a new month, it's a new box. This box seems smaller though, so I'm not... Maybe this is something else that I ordered? I don't know. Let me see. Once again, no... <sighs> just want the spoiler sheet to be on the top. For the love of all that is good and gracious. And something smells nice. Okay, you know what? Let's just start looking at what something smells really nice in here, actually. It's like, whoo! Okay. All right. A Shadow Crown inspired mouse pad. So. Do -do. I do like having that. Oh, that's nice. Now I can at least alternate. I probably might start doing that, alternating. Because I have a Slytherin one. I need, I wash my mouse pads. I really do. Because I want them to last forever. But here we go. So you guys can get, like, a really good look. All right. So there's that. Just, um. All right. Wanderlust Window Collection Moon Palace. Um... Not, not sure. If only I had my spoiler sheet. There are so many moon palaces that I know of in literature, so I'm not exactly sure which moon palace this is. So maybe once I look at it, I'll get a, a better idea. We'll see. Oops. Oh my god. This is so freaking pretty. Nope, I'm still kind of drawing a blank. If only I had a spoiler sheet. Obviously, it's probably going to be all the way at the bottom of the box, which annoys the crap out of me. Okay, bookish bento box. Ooh. Okay, now I don't have an excuse to not, you know, pack myself lunch. Except for the fact that I have no food. Um, this is cute. Oh my god. I actually really like this. I'm going to use this. Look at that. Oh, and it's for like dressings and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start. This is nice. I like that. Okay. This is what smells so good. Throne of Glass inspired car air freshener. It is strong, though. Let me tell you. It's strong. I smelled it the moment I opened the box. Like, oh, wow. That's pungent. It's pungent. And not like a bad pungent, but it is really overpowering. But it's for the car, so. Oh, and I like it. It's bad. It's big, though. I'd rather be riding a brass. That's cute. I do have to read this, so. I'm going to keep it in the thing. It's, it's, you know when things are so strong, you feel like you can taste them in your mouth? That's how strong this is. I don't know how. Again, it's for the car. Ha! Okay. So, we got the print preview for next month. And now, the spoiler sheet. Woo! Yes, of course, it was at the bottom. So, this is October. All right, so I don't get the adult one. So, all right, so this theme was Haunting Huntress. All right, so the mouse pad inspired by Broken Blade. 
was designed by the Bookish Box, the, car, the car air freshener inspired by Sergio Mass's Thermal Glass series, designed by Bookish Box, the Bento Box. Okay, so there is a design here. I don't think I quite showed it off to you guys. Sorry about that. So this is uh, Fandom Neutral, designed by Fox and the Bear. Wanderlust Window is The Serpent in the Wings of Night, I figured, because I do have that book, and it did look like something similar to that, so I had a suspicion, so it's good to, that I know my suspicion was right. Designed by Gabrielle Vergusi, and then the art print, uh, so that is, was the feature for November's theme, designed by Natalie Bernard Art, features Scarlett Monroe from Lady of Darkness by Melissa K. Rowrich. Okay, so now we're going to do the book. I got that car back fresheners. Ooh. Ooh. The Night Hunt by Alexandra Cristo. I've been waiting for this. I totally forgot that I was going to be getting this. So, put that there. Okay, so we'll look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Back cover. Nice. Okay, so I like this. All right. And then here is front, back, we've got end pages, I think they're the same, yeah, they're the same. Okay, let's see if this month is signed. Ha, it is! Considering my last book, last month came to me unsigned, making a point, this one was signed. So, not that it matters, I sold the book. So, whatever. Yeah, I'm a little salty, okay? All right. And here's what the dust jacket looks like. Unfolded. Okay. So, let's see who did what for this book, shall we? All right, so signed by the author, front dust jacket art, front dust jacket art by Eric da Art, hard case by Eric da Art, central edge art by Eric da Art, reversible dust jacket art by Ghost in the Garden, but with a V instead of an A, and an end paper art by Ghost in the Garden. So of course I'm going to include links to all the artwork and everything in the description below. Let's see. Feature title of the month is The Night Hunt by Alexander Christo. Da, 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 da. This is a lot to read, and I don't want to take up any more of your time. But here we go. If you decide you want to, you can always just Google what the book's about. But I'm excited. I am excited. So here, let's look at what this. All right. Danila Novel, Enemies to Lovers, Monsters, Ghouls, and Gods. Greek mythology inspired, the last of her kind, and forgotten past. Okay. All right. All right. Very excited about that. Okay. So, in any case, I, I can still like taste the air freshener. Oh, I can't wait to put that back in the box. <laughs> oh my God. I just got a whiff of it. Oh, that is pungent. It is pungent. In any case, thank you all for tuning into this unboxing video um, of my October bookish box. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to it, my channel, and share it with all your book-loving friends. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, guys, happy reading!